Understanding measles is the first step in preventing the disease. I'm Dr. Jennifer Dushan. I'm the pediatric hospital epidemiologist at Mount Sinai Hospital. What we know is that there's presently a measles outbreak in Texas and parts of New Mexico. We believe that the first person to get the disease came from abroad with the disease and subsequently spread it to other patients, to other people in the community. What we know about measles is that it's highly infective. We have a very specific measure of infectivity. We call that an r naught. What that is, is it's a measure of how many people will get the disease from one person who has the disease. We can also use that number to estimate how many people in a specific area or community need to be vaccinated to prevent the spread of the disease. So what we know about measles is that if a person with measles goes into the community, we need about a 95% coverage rate. So about 95% of other people in the community need to be vaccinated to prevent the spread of the disease. In other words, to prevent an outbreak. In the area of Texas, where there's presently an outbreak, that number was much less than 95%. Measles could absolutely affect this region. New York State is a very big place, um, and there are pockets where vaccination rates are very low, certainly much less than the 95% needed to prevent transmission of measles if someone has the disease in the community. There is no cure for measles. There's no treatment for measles once someone has the disease. Um, we know that the disease can cause both death as well as severe illness in children specifically, but all patients, especially those who don't have a normal immune system. We also know that measles affects the immune system long after the disease has happened. Patients have what we call immune amnesia, where um, the immune system doesn't function well after a case of measles, and they're much more prone to things like pneumonia or other bacterial or viral illnesses. So the thing to know about measles is that it's vaccine preventable. We really don't, we don't have to have an outbreak. No one has to get measles. The measles component of the MMR vaccine, which is the vaccine that we have in this country um, to prevent measles, mumps, and rubella is highly effective. So people who get vac of people who get vaccinated, 93% of people will have protective immunity after one vaccine. About 7% of people will not. So we recommend that all children get two vaccines. Um, it's called the routine vaccine series. It starts at about 12 months of age with the first dose, the second dose being at about four to six years of age before children enter school or other other areas where there are a lot of other children. The second vaccine increases that coverage rate to about 97%. So measles is highly preventable through vaccination. Outbreaks don't have to happen. That's why it's important to become vaccinated. Vitamin A isn't a treatment for measles. It's not an antiviral and it doesn't fight the measles disease directly. We know that supplementing people with vitamin A can help prevent mortality from the disease. Um, these, these data are primarily from um, places where vitamin A deficiency or malnutrition are prevalent. Um, however, the recommendation is in patients with measles to give them vitamin A to try to help prevent mortality, but it doesn't fight the disease directly. It doesn't prevent the disease directly. Vaccinate your children, make sure that you're vaccinated and make sure that everyone around you is vaccinated. Check your own vaccination records, check your children's vaccina vaccination records. Um, make sure that um, your relatives, your friends, your parents, um, are, are vaccinated. Do what you can do to support good public health. This is a vaccine preventable disease. The vaccine is highly efficacious. Um, it's safe and let's do what we can to protect not only ourselves, but our children and other people's children as well.